I think we already know what's going to happen here, but I just want to talk to the parents. Really, I just want to talk to them. There is nothing funny about this video, period. Here you have a group of girls mocking Black History Month, one in blackface, one with a spray can, and other bystanders laughing off to the side, and they felt so emboldened to post this on the internet. They clearly have no problem with being racist. Gross. And let's get something out the way. To the girl that's sitting there getting sprayed, I don't know who this girl is, but she's not your friend because she was taking that spray a little too literal. So I'd most definitely watch my back on that. Now I'm tagging Philly in this because the girls are wearing Eagle shirts. So I'm wondering if that's where they come from. So if you guys recognize this, I just want to talk to their parents and just understand because these are future doctors, lawyers, whatever, nurses. And I just want to know what the parents are going to do. There must be accountability for this horrendous action. And accountability starts with the vile parents that raise these women. But what about their parents? A lot of you guys were like, oh, why does it matter? It does matter. Now, one of their parents is a nurse, allegedly a nurse for a local hospital. So you're damn right I want that mother's name and you're damn right I want to know which hospital because this is where racism is a pipeline. This mother, you cannot tell me you don't know what your girl is up to. You don't know what your children are up to. It starts with the parents. So if the mother is like, if the child is like this, the mother is like this as well. According to the comment section, these parents were well aware of their children's actions, proving that racism is taught and it is alive and well in the United States. Despite some BS claims from conservatives that racism is dead and that it's in the past, this video proves otherwise. Now this is an all girls Catholic school and this is not the first racist incident. In fact, a lot of people are protesting because things have been brought out to the school before and people are saying they just swept it under the rug. This is only the latest in a series of racist moments. And this clearly happened in Philadelphia where there is a disproportionate amount of black people still living in poverty. America, we must do better. This just proves that racism is not just a fixture of the past. It is in our present. This is only one video that we know about. Think of all the other non-filmed horrendous actions like this. And in celebration of Black History Month, to quote Martin Luther King Jr., injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Thank you for joining me on The Breakdown. My name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my TikTok and my YouTube that is in the description below. You should totally check it out. It's awesome. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe to The Breakdown. You can see more from independent reporters like myself. And these videos are pretty awesome. So you should totally binge watch them. So go and follow me in the description below and smash that subscribe button for more from The Breakdown. Thank you so much and have a wonderful and blessed day.